Today's story is all about caring for feral cats. Hello, it's James from the Global Portrait Project, where I'm painting 193 portraits of 193 subjects, with each person involved in their country in a positive environmental action. And today it's the turn of country number 43, Cuba. The subject for my portrait for Cuba is Alicia Castell veterinarian and carer for a community of feral cats. Cuba is an island country comprising the island of Cuba, Isla de la Juventud and archipelagos along with over 4,000 islands and keys surrounding the main island. Cuba is located where the Northern Caribbean Sea, Gulf of Mexico and Atlantic Ocean meet. Cuba is near mainland countries beginning with U, M, G, B and N, along with nearby island nations beginning with C, J, H, B and T. The environmental issues in Cuba are complex. Its geographical location, size and shape make it particularly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. In addition, Cuba has other issues such as deforestation, water pollution, the loss of biodiversity and air pollution. The Global Portrait Project has covered a wide range of environmentally positive actions, ranging from selfless acts that help a local community through to people following lifelong career paths that affect international policy. All stories are equally welcome here. It was a story having a positive effect at a local level that drew me to painting Alicia Castell. Populations of feral cats can expand rapidly, producing a massive impact on local biodiversity through predation. It is easy for such populations to outstrip their local resources and for hunger and disease to spread rapidly. For the last nine years, Alicia has been single-handedly dealing with this issue in her local community. When Alicia moved to her current residence nine years ago, there were virtually no cats in the neighbourhood. Shortly after moving in, Alicia noticed a feral kitten, which she began to feed. In the following weeks, other cats used to follow the kitten, often fighting amongst themselves. It was at that point that Alicia made the decision to provide food for the local cats to share. Throughout the years, the majority of the cats have been sterilised, meaning that the community numbers have remained fairly stable, with some disappearing seasonally and some new arrivals coming from other neighbourhoods. Alicia's main goals are to ensure that the kittens do not starve, to treat injuries and wounds and to take care of new births, which commonly includes treating eye diseases. She prioritises feeding their mothers so they can produce milk for their babies. If possible, Alicia will also try to find homes for the kittens once they are old enough. For many people, economic times are hard and donations for animal welfare are not a high priority. Alicia does not fundraise, using her own funds and supplies for the colony. Alicia states, I do this for love, because I know that no one else here would do it, because the fate of all these kittens would be very sad without anyone to give them love or attention, because I understand that living on the streets without being able to ask for water, food or pain medicine must be very cruel, and because people's disinterest and lack of love towards animals hurts me a lot. I don't pretend to be recognised for what I do. I don't ask for thanks. I don't even ask for support. I do what I do 
because I am not capable of being indifferent to suffering and abandonment. I want a country where animals are respected and cared for. I dream that one day that will be possible. Final words from Alicia are, A world of voiceless angels needs people who know how to listen with their hearts. Let's listen with love. There is more information about this painting and how to get involved with the Global Portrait Project on the website and Instagram page, and the links are in the description below. Next time, we'll be meeting someone at the heart of environmental work in Cyprus.